Storm Team meteorologist Lindsay Rachel with Central New York's most accurate forecast. Good morning. I hope you're having a nice weekend so far. I hope you were able to get out yesterday and enjoy the dry uh, weather. Today you're going to be dodging the raindrops. If you're heading to services or mass this morning, uh, the wind isn't too bad. Watch out for some showers, though, so you might want that umbrella. Midday, that wind starts to pick up, so then I would ditch the umbrella and I would grab the rain jacket. We will have some dry time, but we'll also be seeing some heavy rain from time to time as well. Here's a look at the wind speeds right now. We're out of the east at 7 miles per hour. Buffalo out of the southeast at 12 miles per hour. But again, midday, that's when we start to see wind gusts up to 30, 35 miles per hour. And it continues throughout the afternoon, throughout the evening, and also through the overnight. We do have wind advisories that go into effect beginning this evening and continuing through the overnight into your Monday morning. As for temperatures right now, we're 49 in Syracuse. 52 is the temperature in Skinny Atlas and Sodus. So it is a mild start to the day. Overall, it is mild, but we do have some changes on the way. Live Doppler 9 is quiet. We zoom out the view. We have rain not too far away. Just give it an hour or two and we'll start to see some showers working in. The severe threat associated with this system, that stays well too our south. You can see some warnings there in Tennessee, some flash flood warnings down there, not up here. Here's a look at your time cast. We'll start things off 8 o'clock this morning. You'll notice by 9 or 10, we do have some showers working in. Temperatures are in the 50s. We're stuck in the clouds all day. There will be some dry time right around lunchtime for some of us, especially along and south of the throughway. A little bit more rain socked in there for uh, areas east of Lake Ontario, north of Syracuse. Once we get to 3 o'clock, be on guard for a cold front. That's going to move from west to east and it could bring some heavy rain and gusty winds along with it. Once it gets to about four or five o'clock, that's when it passes through the Syracuse area. Once we get beyond six or seven, then that heavier rain is off to our east. We're left with some spotty showers. Temperatures are getting cooler though for this evening. We're dropping into the 40s and we'll be dropping pretty quickly through the 40s and into the 30s. So overnight, the rain showers, they change over to some snow showers. We'll continue to see some snow uh, going into the start of your Monday. I don't think it'll be too much that'll slow you down, but we will see an accumulation for some of us. Rainfall totals, the highest totals, they go to uh, the higher elevations north of Syracuse, northern Oneida County, portions of the Tug Hill. For most, we see about a quarter to three quarters of an inch of rain. It's needed, certainly. Snowfall, uh, some of us, we can argue that it's not needed, but we can see a trace to two inches in the hills south and north of Syracuse. Tomorrow's temperatures were close to 40 degrees. That's a bit chilly. You tack on the wind to that and feels like temperatures are in the 20s and the 30s. It's still breezy on Monday. Tuesday's breezy, but it's warmer. Highs are in the 60s. We have some sunshine and then we have some rain and snow to start the month of April.